Hey, my name is Connor, and welcome to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto markets. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use ZK Sync, which is a ZK rollup layer 2 scaling solution for Ethereum. There is no token out yet at the moment for ZK Sync. However, the team did say that they will be fairly distributing the token to the community in the future. So that does in fact sound like an airdrop. And in my previous video, I asked you, the Crypto Empire community, if you wanted to see a tutorial on how to use ZK Sync to prepare for that airdrop. And I was overwhelmed by the response that I did get. Shout out to the entire Crypto Empire community for making noise, smashing the like button, and commenting down below for the YouTube algorithm. So you asked for it, of course. Crypto Empire does in fact deliver. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use ZK Sync to prepare for that airdrop. If that does interest you, be sure to stick with me to the very end of this video. And if you are new to Crypto Empire, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And let the gains be with you. So in the world of cryptocurrency, it pays to be early. Early adopters always get rewarded. And in the case of ZK Sync, the team has said in the past that they will be fairly distributing the token to the community in the future. So we've seen airdrops in the past for cryptocurrencies. Of course, Uniswap was the original airdrop for utilizing a protocol before it got really popular. We had one inch. Recently, we had Paraswap and ENS, Ethereum name service. Some people got as much as $100,000 from that ENS airdrop. So it's definitely worth it to take the time and prepare your wallet address to receive that airdrop if they do in fact decide to do that. So let's go right ahead and start using ZK Sync to get our wallet address ready for that airdrop. First thing we're going to want to do is go to zksync.io. I will leave this link down in the description below. We want to hit open wallet right here in the main page. Now it's going to ask to connect our Ethereum layer one wallet. So we'll hit Ethereum wallet and we're going to be using MetaMask. If you don't have MetaMask already set up, I've made a full video showing you how to set up MetaMask. I'll put a card right here. So we're going to select MetaMask right now and a confirmation will pop up. We're going to go ahead and hit next down here on the right. Select the wallet we want to use and then hit connect. It's going to go ahead and log us in. Now from here you can see that our wallet address is connected to the layer 2, but we don't have anything in our balances. So we need to move over some funds. By the way, I should mention this is not financial advice. I'm going to be using Ethereum for this tutorial. So I'm going to hit add funds right now and we're going to select the token. I will select Ethereum. As you can see, I have 0.13 ETH in here. So let's go ahead and move over 0.1 Ethereum. We'll hit add funds. Now you can see we're going to have to pay a gas fee of $40 right now. The gas will fluctuate depending on the network congestion at the time of your transaction. We'll go ahead and confirm this transaction and wait for it to go through. All right, so we just had our first confirmation. I'm going to hit OK right now. And now it is continuing to deposit the Ethereum. Okay, after a few minutes, my Ethereum did arrive in my ZK Sync Layer 2 wallet. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to send a little bit of Ethereum to another wallet address. That will count as a transaction on the network. So we'll go ahead and hit send right here. And first thing we're going to have to do is sign the account activation. So let's go ahead and authorize to sign the account. So we're going to get a MetaMask confirmation and only sign this message for a trusted client. This is important. Only sign messages for applications you do trust. So we'll hit sign right now and we'll wait for this to go through. So we had to confirm the signing two times. Now we can go ahead and paste an address, a wallet address into the address section and then put in the amount of Ethereum we want to send. So go ahead and paste in an address and then put in the amount of Ethereum you want to send over. So I'll put in 0.01. And we're going to send that on ZK Sync. So we'll go ahead and confirm this and transfer inside of ZK Sync. We'll have to confirm this inside of our Ethereum wallet on MetaMask and we'll sign the transaction again. All right, now the transfer is complete. That is how you go ahead and transfer money around on ZK Sync. We paid a $97 fee for that. So that does beat the Layer 1 Ethereum mainnet fee tenfold. Next step is going to be minting an NFT. It might sound daunting if you've never done it before, but trust me, it's a relatively simple process. So we'll go over here to the top in the NFT tab and we'll hit NFTs. Now we'll hit mint NFT. Now from here, it's gonna ask us for a 0x hash or a CID. Now to get a CID for an NFT, you will have to go to this application called pinata.cloud. I will leave the link down in the description below, but this is how you actually do go ahead 
and mint an NFT on the Ethereum mainnet. So you just need a PNG image or a JPEG. So I'll go ahead and hit upload one of my PNGs to pinata.cloud now. So I'm gonna hit upload and then select a file, not a folder. Selected the file and now I'm going to hit upload. Okay, so our image has actually uploaded. We can go ahead and view it. Right here, you can see this is the Crypto Empire Telegram sticker. If you're not in the Crypto Empire free Telegram group, join it by hitting the link down in the description below. But the CID that we need for ZK Sync is actually up here in the wallet address bar. If I go ahead and draw, drag my screen down a little bit, we can see the wallet address. We can see the CID right here. It's right after IPF slash, and then it's this QMSA. So I'll go ahead and highlight this right here and copy it. And you can also see that you can actually just copy the CID right here from the pinata.cloud dashboard, but it's the same exact string of numbers. Make sure you do copy that. And let's head back on over to ZK Sync. And now we're gonna paste it in right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and mint the NFT. We'll go ahead and proceed to mint. It does cost $1.12. Go ahead and confirm the transaction in our MetaMask wallet by signing it. Okay, so the transaction has confirmed. We'll hit OK now. And we do have our NFT inside of our ZK Sync account right here. As you can see, I am the creator of it. It's my own account. And it's not yet verified on the Ethereum mainnet. That takes a few hours, up to eight hours, to actually verify on the Ethereum Layer 1 mainnet. But that will happen. We completed the task here. Let's move on to the next step which is actually to trade on ZK Sync. And to do that, we're going to use a decentralized exchange called ZigZag. So let's head over there right now. So we are now on ZigZag. The URL for this is trade.zigzag.exchange. I will leave the link in the description down below of this video. First thing we have to do is connect our wallet. So we'll hit connect in the top right and make sure we have the correct account selected and then go ahead and hit next and then hit connect. Now we're gonna go ahead and sign the transaction and our wallet is now connected and you can see we are on the ZK Sync mainnet. So this is still in beta. This is not financial advice. I will be swapping some Ethereum. So for educational purposes only, just know that. So we can see we are here on the Ethereum USDT pair. They do have a few trading pairs at this moment in time. So let's go ahead and use the Ethereum USDT pair for this example. And we will have the option in the future to use limit orders, but for now we can only use market orders. And you can see the gas fee for a trade is $1, all right? So that is very inexpensive compared to something like Uniswap or any other decentralized application on the Ethereum layer one mainnet. So all we're gonna do now is select the amount of Ethereum you wanna sell for USDT. Doesn't really matter. So we'll sell 0.01 which is about $43 right now, we'll hit sell. And we will have to confirm this, we'll sign the transaction. And our order was confirmed, you can see over here, our USDT balance did actually go up. So now you wanna do as many transactions as possible really. We, we're not sure the criteria for the airdrop, if it's, if it's based on the number of transactions you do on the network. So I'm just gonna swap some more USDT a few more times. We'll go ahead and buy our Ethereum back we just sold. Let's go ahead and sign the transaction. All right, so the buy order was filled. You can see we now have 4.2 cents of USDT left. So let's just do this one more time, two more times for good measure. So to make sure that we, our wallet address gets the airdrop. Probably gonna do it a few more times after in the video, but this is just how to do it so you know. All right, the transaction went through again. Let's swap it right back to Ethereum by buying our Ethereum back, sign the transaction. I think you get the point by now. This is how you use the ZK Sync, ZK Rollup Layer 2 Scaling Solution for Ethereum. So in this video, I showed you how to prepare for the scenario of ZK Sync does actually give an airdrop to the community. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you let me know by leaving a like down below and also leaving a comment. And if you are new to Crypto Empire, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.